How do you feel being black in Colombia? <laughs> like, I mean now, like, he has, he, has a, he has a monologue of like that 30 was a minutes. Good one. He got this white guy, so hey, how do you feel about being black in Colombia? I'm like, oh, it was just funny. Yeah, Next, yeah. hit it. you buy the house of fun don't know why If you wonder where that was, where the amazing lady sang, this has something to do with the topic of this video and I will tell you at the end of this video where that was. But let's uh, start with the video. My name is Sam and welcome to How to Expat. Uh, in this video we're going to talk about how is it to be Amer an African American here in Colombia. And if you ask yourself why a white European guy is talking about that, uh, it's just we have yeah, a lot of clients and a lot of them are African American and they of course ask that question. So it's like with every other video we did, we think uh, we have around 100 right now. Uh, we just want to tell it how it actually is, boots on the ground, the experience of people here. And that's why we did the interview. So you can find out how, how it is to be uh, black or African American in Colombia. Just want to make sh uh, two, three things clear here. So we're not talking about the bigger picture. We're just talking about how it is, the experiences with the people I interviewed. And it's nothing more, nothing less. And on the other side, we don't talk about how it is to be a black Colombian, uh, so to speak. We're just talking about how it is if you're black, let's say African American or from Canada or from France or England or something like that. How it is as a foreigner to be a black here in Colombia. So let's start with the first question. Uh, so yeah, just first to the first question. How do you feel being black here in, in Colombia? Colombia? Well, um, actually, I don't have any bad experiences really in being black in Colombia. Mm -hmm. um, maybe it helped because I know a lot of black Americans right now that are here. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a you know, camaraderie, we talk to each other mm -hmm. and so forth. But I'm not sure it's because the neighborhood I live in, I mean, I live in Lorelis, mm -hmm. and some neighborhoods, you know, they're not like black neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. So maybe they know if you're around here, you're not really a black Colombian. So mm -hmm. I really don't know if there's a big difference between how they treat black. Colombians versus you know black Americans yeah. like foreigners. I yeah. don't know, but I really haven't had any bad experiences. Mm -hmm. Really bad experiences. Like police officers are real cool. I don't I don't get pulled over for anything yeah. like in the U.S. So <laughs> I, I really can't say anything really bad about it. Yeah. I mean, this is a perfect no, mm -hmm. but I really have too many negative things to say. All right, how do you feel being black in Colombia? I feel good. As far as racism goes, I haven't personally experienced any racism. And a lot of my friends who are black haven't experienced any racism. Um, especially once you start talking and they hear your accent is from somewhere else, you're being treated like actually better than someone who uh, is from here. So I definitely haven't had that. I actually think it's an advantage being black here because uh, in Colombia there's an African influence. So there's people who are Colombian who look like me. So when I'm walking through barrios that are considered dangerous and I'm not flashing any jewelry or anything like that, people just assume I'm Colombian and they don't, I don't, um, As of a I don't, uh, I'm not a target or I don't bring a lot of attention to myself unless I start talking. <laughs> so it's an, it's an advantage for me, I'll look at it. Because, and then another thing is, there is this, uh, the belief around the world, because I've traveled around the world, uh, that white people are the ones who have the money and that people that are darker complected, complex, has a, have a darker complexion um, are poor and they don't have, have money. So I'm not gonna be the first target. So I, I like the fact that people would think that and I can just kind of just blend in, go about my business and, and people don't really feel that I have money. So. So what's the difference then to being in Colombia than being back in the US? Because yeah, I don't know, I'm a white guy from Europe, right, but I know right. there's some tension there. Right, so what, right, what is the right. difference? I, just, I don't know, they think there's a history of uh, the US, um, you know, where they treat black people and so forth. Mm -hmm. And um, people are always, 
especially with all the killings of you know black men in mm -hmm. uh, in the United States, people are always on edge. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> if you get pulled over by a cop, you just oh, oh, oh obviously just kind of get nervous mm -hmm. and so forth because you see all the things on TV mm -hmm. and. Um, and right here, you're not really on edge here. If I see a police officer, I'm not really on edge. Yeah, okay. You know, so, and over there, I'm kind of on edge. You never know what's going to happen, kind of thing, you know. So, yeah. you just feel more relaxed okay. here, you know, yeah. than in the States. It's crazy, yeah. I heard this, a lot of my friends say the same thing, yeah. you know. Okay. So, what is the difference of being black here in Colombia to being black back at home in the U.S.? Oh, man, it's a big difference. Uh, number one, you know, back in the U.S., uh, the police are uh, targeting, not all police, but there's, there's a lot more shootings of black people, especially, or black unarmed people in the States. And the, the, the police out here don't even, they're not on, they don't think that way. I've asked many black Colombians would the behavior of black um, or a police in the states happen here, and they were like, "Absolutely not." So in that in that aspect, um, even the police are respectful. Which there's a percentage of police in the United States that aren't respectful because they have the power and they feel like you know they can talk to you any kind of way. They're very respectful, even the police here. So um, the treatment is much much better here than in the states. And outside of let's say this was just about the police is there a difference even outside of like the police that you experience yourself personally here like how yeah how i would be treated yeah like no i think no i don't think it would be a difference of being black here completely but i just feel like anybody if you're black or white that comes here is going to experience a difference in how yeah. their lifestyle would be compared to if they were in the states so i don't yeah. think that's an issue that has to do with race or any, or per yeah. se so the only difference is that I, we would have different is that there are some serious, and everybody knows, racist issues institutionally in the States that doesn't really uh, apply here. Yeah, generally as a foreigner, let's say. As, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about in, in regards to being black. As a foreigner. As a foreigner, okay. yeah. 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 Just to make that clear, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks for clarifying. Yeah, yeah that's, that's important. <laughs> So yeah, this the, this question ties in a little bit about the, the first one. But did you specifically experience some racism towards or against you? Like I had some friends, kind of they thought maybe the taxi drove by because they were black. But did you experience anything like that here? Yeah, I I, I did. I spoke about it a little bit on my channel um, about the taxi. One time I was in Premium Plaza, and you know they wouldn't take me somewhere, and so a lot of lady stepped in and helped. Mm -hmm. And when I went to Bogota a few times, you know, they would pass you by. What, what um, does that mean? A lot of ladies stepped in and helped you? Yeah, I was in Premium Plaza and trying to get a taxi from Premium Plaza to the hotel, mm -hmm. which is close by. It was a well-known hotel. Mm -hmm. And I keep going to the cabs and they keep uh, saying they don't, they don't know the hotel. They wouldn't take me, wouldn't take me. Mm -hmm. And this lady, uh, white Colombian, she saw what's happening and she got, got, she got upset. Mm -hmm. And she actually, you know, jumped in and grabbed my hand. And, Took me to one of the cabs and started screaming at the guy in, wow, in, in, yeah. in Spanish, yeah, right? <laughs> and then put me in the cab yeah. and tell him, take me to the hotel. Yeah. And he did. He, he found a hotel then. <laughs> wow, so, crazy you story. Know, that's one story. I, yeah. I, I, but most times, there's so many cabs running around, it's not yeah. an issue. But, you know, that's one experience I had. And one time I was in Bogota, same kind of thing where yeah. they kind of passed you by, passed you by, yeah. you know. And then, um, you know, with the person I was with, I told her, look, the split up, she can go down a couple of feet, you know, from mm -hmm. me and then just top of her. And then I went mm -hmm. down and got in the car. Yeah. Okay. I heard someone has said the same thing. A black Colombian told me the same thing. That there's an issue with that sometimes in, mm -hmm. uh, in Bogota. Yeah, okay. You know? But it's not to the point where I, you know, I stress over it because it doesn't happen every day. Mm -hmm. uh, because I've been coming about four years and I live here a year. Mm -hmm. And I said, probably happened, maybe, you know, happened the one time in, in uh, Bogota. Mm -hmm. And maybe once or twice here, so it's not something that's a major issue to yeah, me, yeah. you know. Okay. Right. Okay. And, and it's, it's, it's worse than the U.S. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, people, there's well stories they know about in New York City, where even, you know, Samuel Jackson or well-known stars have the same issue getting yeah. picked up by a cab. That's so crazy. I, I don't know. So <laughs> it's just minor stuff. Yeah. I don't stress over it. Okay. Cool. Uh, did you experience any racism here while being in Colombia? Like, yeah, police, taxi drivers, normal people. 
I, I've, I have, I've experienced different treatment, but it had nothing to do with race. Yeah, okay, then. I think it because they knew I wasn't from here. Yeah. They had some taxi drivers that try to take the long way around just to make yeah. a little extra money. So but that gringo treatment. Yeah, yeah, that would have happened to anybody that, yeah. Yeah, that, yeah. that wasn't from here. Yeah. But as far as just because I was black, no. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, here. All right. <laughs> I did have the opposite effect. I had some reverse racism. <laughs> because in the States, there's a lot of times where if I'm walking past a, a black person, whether it be a guy or a girl, we may acknowledge each other and speak or something like that. Yeah. Here, they, the, the, what I've noticed is that the black Colombians, if they don't know you, they'll look, not even look at you. They don't even want to acknowledge you. And I asked somebody about that. I'm like, why is that? I mean, because I try to speak. I can speak mostly to other Colombians, but when there's they're black Colombians that walk past me, and someone said that, uh, a, another black Colombian lady told me that the reason why they don't want to really acknowledge you too much because they feel like you may make them more black and they and <laughs> you may make them more black they, you know uh, the blackness will rub off and they're trying to get away from that they're not you know because it's unfortunate the, the um, imperialist um, teaching is that the whiter you are the higher off you are the better you are off in society and the darker you are the worse you are so it's ingrained in some of the apparently it's some of the black colombians not all of them yeah, but yeah. my experience i can be walking past and they're just like like we're not hey man we're not even on the nope <laughs> anyway that's all my right. take okay so uh is there kind of a, an african-american community around here of course you live in medellin yeah, there is. I mean, it's, the more and more African Americans come in here uh, over the last uh, year, as more of these um, YouTube channels mm -hmm. go out there and talk about how nice mm -hmm. it is here. And these are guys are coming from the states, they're coming from the DR, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and coming here. And uh, you know, I hang out sometimes by this uh, place called Sweet Georgia Cafe. Mm -hmm. they did, did a little video on it. Let the guys hang out there and just talk and mm -hmm. uh, drink. And we have, um, you know game nights and poker nights and uh, you know dominoes and spade nights mm -hmm. and movie okay. night. Mm -hmm. so it's, it's pretty cool mm -hmm. it's getting pretty popular it's growing yeah. you know so people hang out there it's middle of americans mm -hmm. cool yeah is there an african-american community around of course you live in medellin like we do here in medellin or in mm -hmm. colombia mm -hmm. there is mm -hmm. there is we we uh there's a uh african-american gentleman who owns a restaurant uh cafe in laureles and we usually hang up, hang out over there, um, and yeah. What's it called? What, what's the name of it? Yeah. Sweet Georgia Cafe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we're going over there tonight, actually. As a matter of fact. Yeah. Um, yes, but it's a it's a good community. Yeah. It's, a, it's 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 starting. To, it's getting bigger. There's a well, you didn't talk about that, but I was going to say there's a big veteran community and there's a big African community, African American community yeah. too. Yeah. Okay. So these were the amazing interviews we had with the two guys. Um, yeah, thank you again uh, to, to uh, hold that uh, interview with us. Uh, I just want to add two or three things. Uh, first of all, if you want to find out more about how it is uh, to be a black Colombian, if you're interested in that, Carlton made a very, very cool video on his channel talking uh, with the Afro-Colombian uh, about that. It's linked in the description down below. I'm sorry we didn't put any uh, women in the videos. Our guys, as it usually is, we already t t talked too much. So maybe we will have a video with uh, African-American women talking about the same topic in the future. And the third thing is uh, this: the, the coffee, uh, which you saw the, the, this, uh, the singer in, in the beginning of the video. It's called Sweet Georgia Cafe. We have been uh, there the first time yesterday. Did not had not specifically something to do with this video, but I think it just ties in nicely uh, because the other two guys, without even knowing uh, what what the other uh, told, yeah, mentioned both this uh, this cafe slash restaurant. So uh, we just put it in here in this video too. So this was already it. I hope the video helped you uh, getting the question, uh, yeah, getting a deeper uh, knowledge uh, in, in, into that question. And if you want to find out more about how life could be as an expat in Colombia, Ecuador, and Panama, make sure to check out our ebook. We have a great information there, uh, so make sure to check it out now. It's free and it's linked down in the description below.